Minis Forum released the AI X1 Pro Mini PC in early March 2025, and they sent us a unit for review. Hey everyone, Matt from Lawrence Systems here. I've been using this PC for the past few weeks for everyday tasks and a bit more in place of my daily machine. Now, I'm excited to share with you just how much they've packed into only 3.3 pounds. Let's get started. <laughs> The AI X1 Pro has an AMD Ryzen AI9 HX370 CPU with a Radeon 890M GPU and a neural processing unit. It's a great combination. That's 12 cores, 24 threads, 80 tops, and a base frequency of 2 GHz that maxes out at around 5.1. This is a mobile processor, but I gotta tell you, the performance feels very much like my desktop. I'm surprised with that, especially as someone who's always kind of strayed away from mini PCs. I think this may be changing things for me a bit. This unit that I've got in my hands here came with a 1TB M2 drive and 64 gigs of RAM. I'm still having a bit of a tough time believing this is a sub $1,000 mini PC. This has plenty of memory. It's great for most daily productivity needs and even loading a model or two along the way if you want to get a bit of force multiplier action going. Is this the ultimate solution to running your own LLM, AI enabled applications and other thing locally? No. No, it isn't, but it is an amazing way to get started. Let's take a look at the hardware. This is a hefty unit, even though it's only 3.3 pounds. It's well built, it's sturdy. The top and bottom match for a perfect seam. And to me, that's a minor detail that goes a very long way. It says a lot of thought went into this product. Now on the front, we have USB 4. We've got two super speed USB ports, an audio jack, a power button, a fingerprint reader. On the side, we have a full sized SD card reader and right here is a Microsoft Copilot button. The Microsoft Copilot button says a lot about this unit and what it's intended for. General productivity and finding ways to integrate AI into routine tasks. Now let's take a look at the back. We have a connector for power. The power supply is internal and it doesn't really generate a whole lot of heat. I was really happy to see that. We have two two and a half gig ethernet ports, an HDMI port, a port for display port, USB four, Oculink, which is great to see on here, another USB port, and a space for a Kensington lock. Now, if I were to deploy something like this as a small fleet at a small business, having that Kensington lock uh, capability is fantastic. This unit also comes with cables, a stand, and a VESA mount in the box, and they even threw some M2 mounting hardware since there are three slots for drives in here. Let's take a look and see what else is going on here. When I think small, and I'm talking mini PC small, I tend to think proprietary, and I was happy to see how wrong I was in this case. We've got pretty standard DDR5 RAM in here. We've got space for three standard M2 drives, and even an ordinary CR2032 battery. That's awesome. Positioning of the hardware on the board is great. I had absolutely no problem removing and reseating the RAM and the M2 drive to get a sense of how easy upgrades would be, and I didn't hit a single snag. The performance of the Minis Forum AI X1 Pro is solid. If you want benchmarking info, be sure to check out the review from Level 1 Techs. Wendell's review provides a ton of insights, and uh, right now, we're going to get into what my experience was like for using it for the past few weeks. This machine was designed for productivity. It isn't a blazing fast system for gaming or editing media, but all in all, it gets the job done. Daily tasks like sending emails, drafting proposals, and building presentations on this were a breeze. Windows 11 performs well, and I've experienced, I can't believe I'm going to say this, zero stability issues. I can't say that for most machines I have running Windows 11, sorry. This actually worked. I loaded Office 365, and its applications run fast and, and well. And uh, this machine was the first time I actually spent any time working with Copilot as an assistant in Microsoft applications. And is it something I'm going to use on a regular basis? No. But is it something many, many people can? Absolutely. But look, on the topic of AI, I went ahead and I installed Olama. I installed LM Studio and I used both of them with success. The ability to offload to the GPU at the rate of my choosing, particularly in LM Studio, led to a level of performance that I, it was more than enough to run a local LLM and begin working it into my daily workflows. Keep in mind that we're talking about a mini PC with a mobile processor. Also keep in mind that the NPU is being used to save power here and not really to boost performance. And that's in cases where it's supported. 
Support is currently a bit limited, but I expect that to improve over the coming months. You can load plenty of memory onto this machine, up to 96 gigs. So you have memory for models, although I suggest keeping them to ones that are maybe like in the seven to eight billion parameter size for the sake of performance. Could you do larger parameter size models? Absolutely. You're not gonna get the response you're probably gonna want to get though. Go seven or eight, I think that's a great spot given this setup and given that's about bringing AI and productivity together. Let's say you like what you see so far, but you need more power. Maybe you prefer to have an NVIDIA GPU rather than the Radeon that this comes with. Well, in that case, you grab an external dock, you use the Oculink connection, and you're in business. I'm not much of a gamer these days. It, it could be argued, you know, sometimes I'll hear the song from Marvel vs. Capcom 2 and things get a little bit weird, but the, for the most part, I don't have time for gaming. But we do like having fun here at Lawrence Systems. You know, I went ahead and I loaded almost all the software I regularly use on here, so I felt like installing Steam was natural. I spent a few hours during my review playing Metal Slug, which is an important business function, and even some Rainbow Six Vegas, which uh, I guess is retro now, but still a whole lot of fun. And there's no question that newer titles will perform well. Again, not much of a gamer these days, but did have enough uh, of power and, and time just to have a little bit of fun with it. And sometimes that's important <laughs> in the middle of the workday. Now, let's talk about design. First things first, Photoshop and Illustrator work like a charm. In fact, I hate saying it, but they're considerably more responsive on this machine than my daily PC. It's got, it's got me thinking a little bit. Uh, Photoshop and Illustrator run well. Editing in Premiere didn't come as close to my daily machine, but that's not exactly fair because that one's designed for very specific purposes. All in all, I can get work done on this. And uh, not only can I get work done on this, the last two videos I've done for the Lawrence Systems channel, including the one on Olama, edited right on this machine. So there you have it. All right, so final impressions. Yes, this machine was sent to us for the sake of a review. And because of that, I did spend almost three weeks working with it on a daily basis. And that includes the weekends. Now, what do I have to say about it? I think that the Minis Forum AI X1 Pro is powerful, it's compact, it's relatively low power, and I gotta tell you, again, incredibly sturdy in construction. It's meant for general productivity and working AI into daily tasks, particularly if you work within a Microsoft-based environment. If you wanna get into something like locally hosted LLMs and you wanna do so on a dedicated machine and, and, and start, in a way where you're not investing too much, this is a way to do so with a lowered barrier of entry. Despite its small size, it has a lot of options for expansion and is an excellent choice for many general computing needs. And that Oculink port in the back, that's gonna give you a whole ton of options and uh, quite frankly, that eGPU one is something I'm thinking about right now. Well, that's my review of the Minis Forum AI X1 Pro and I'm not done with it just yet. I'm going to be replacing the M2 that's in here with another one, installing Debian, and seeing just how the AI X1 performs as a small home lab machine. Do me a favor. Let me know if there's anything in particular you'd like to see me install. Leave something down in the comments. And until then, I got to go get one of my 3D printers warmed up for the next video. Take care of yourselves. Have a good one.